Um, I had a, a normal life in 2006. Uh, my best friend was uh, serving in the Canadian Forces. He was discussing how to bring clean drinking water and health care to the families of the village. And a man who did not want to see his community have free thought or free will put a Taliban axe through my best friend's head. Orion 1-1 to Orion 0. Stay again the nature of the wound over. Now I learned that he would not walk again. Soldiers never like to leave their missions unfinished. While I was studying about Afghanistan and continuing to try to carry his mission, I read about this man, Abdullah, in Afghanistan. And he was growing the legal orange blossom and rose to get the farmers off the illegal poppy crop, which is 90% of the world's heroin. And the same people that attacked my best friend were knocking over his distillery. And I thought, that's it, I'm coming. You've got to sit back and you've got to think and wonder how these things come about. You've got Captain Green, who was trying to make a difference to those people. You know, he was fighting a war. And then take a big quantum leap forward and suddenly you're making fragrances. Do you have a background in perfume or Afghanistan? What brought all this together? I never set out to make perfume. If Abdullah was selling saffron, I'd be the spice lady. The perfume and beauty business is one of the most competitive businesses globally. Most of the bigger companies in the industry are publicly traded. When the word gets out about you, people will either come after you because they'll want to buy you, your brand, or they will replicate it. It's not for the faint of heart if you're not willing to face that risk, that risk that you could be taken out by a giant. She basically reinvented herself, and that's inspiring. She believes in me doing this. She believes that I can walk again, that I can function as a man I once was. There's this false dichotomy out there that there is emotional capital and there is financial capital, and never the two should meet. I love it. We are blowing that paradigm out of the water. You can't help but try to rise up as a person when you meet these human beings. I mean, they're angels walking amongst us. I'm seeing patients in the hospital who are at a point of just total tears when they come to see me. And they say, you know what? During my darkest days, I think if Trevor can do it, so can I. And isn't that the true measure of success? Not the amount of money in your bank account, but the impact you've had on the world. You're almost turning hate into love, and it's 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 a fantastic story. It's true.